Hello. Today we're going to be creating a VMware CentOS 7 template to be used with Nutanix Calm. If you already have a CentOS or other Linux uh, distribution template on VMware, you, this is not a required step for you. But for those of you that uh, do not have one already built, uh, I'm going to walk you through all the steps to build one that will work well with uh, all of our Calm Marketplace blueprints. So let's get started. First thing you want to go and do is download the CentOS 7 uh, minimal ISO uh, from one of these mirrors here. I already have that downloaded to save a little time. Once you have it downloaded, you'll want to upload it to the Nutanix data store. So if we go like this and browse files, we will see right here our ISO. So now we're, we're going to start by building a VM. So I'm going to right-click on my VMware cluster, new VM, and do a create new virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this demo cluster selected. And then I'm going to name my VM. This name will persist uh, when we convert it over to the template. So I'm going to name it as a template. Hit next, select the cluster, and then the storage. So this Nutanix Lone Wolf uh, is a VMware storage pod uh, that's just consisted of a single Nutanix container on the, under the covers. This will allow us to use DRS when we go and do Nutanix Calm deployments. I'm going to go ahead and leave this uh, compatibility. And now we're going to select the guest OS. This is a CentOS uh, excuse me, not 32-bit, 64-bit. And now the hardware. So this is going to be a bit up to you and your environment and what you want to select. Uh, so don't feel like you have to do the same options as I'm going to do here. Select whatever network is applicable for your environment. And I do want to select a data store ISO file. And I'm going to grab that CentOS minimal image. And I'm going to have that connected at power on. That looks good. I'll review it real quick. Everything looks good. I'm going to hit finish. And we see our CentOS template uh, VM here. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and power that on. And open the remote console. All right, and here we see the console. I'm going to go ahead and select the install CentOS 7 option. Select my language of choice. Now, for the most part, I'm going to leave these the, as the defaults. There will be a couple of things we have to select, though. We're going to go ahead and just allow the system to do the automatic partitioning. Hit begin. Uh, we will have to create a user. I want to make this user an administrator. Be sure to take note of this password, as we'll need it later. And now we just wait for it to finish its installation. All right, now that we see the installation is done, we're going to go ahead and hit reboot. There will be a couple of things we're going to uh, set up on this VM, uh, minor tweaks, and then we'll be ready to convert it into a template. And log in with the user I defined. All right. The first thing we want to do is scope out the networking and select it to automatically connect. Let me restart the networking now. And 
and see if I grabbed an IP address. Okay, great, we do see one. So next, I want to enable this user to not have to enter in a password when we do a sudo command. So I'm going to uncomment this line. This user is part of the wheel group. Go ahead and right quit there. Uh, just to verify, I'm gonna go ahead and log out and log back in. So the next thing I wanna do is set the firewall over to trusted mode. Most of the Nutanix blueprints uh, are built off a CentOS cloud image, which assumes that the firewall is handled in, in other areas of your network. If that's not the case, then go ahead and uh, you know, modify the, the Nutanix blueprints uh, that we put in the marketplace. But if you want them to work as default, you'll need to go ahead and do this. And next we'll want to just do a, a yum update. That way the, the image is in its most up-to-date form uh, when you go and deploy these uh, instances. And now we'll want to install the Apple release repository. All right, and the next step is to install VMware guest tools. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this machine down. So we see over here, uh, even though we installed VMware tools, the hypervisor hasn't gotten a chance to, to pick up on that. So that's the reason for the, the power cycle here. Let's go ahead and power this back on. And now we see it just switched over to VMware tools running. Uh, guest manage. So that's good. Let's just go ahead and lastly log back in. Verify we have an IP. That well, looks good. And then finally I'm going to do a history wc to clear out our bash history for a clean slate. And I'm going to come back over into vCenter. I'm going to do a guest shutdown. We see it just went off. Last step, right click, template, convert to template. We're gonna hit yes, and we can verify uh, our CentOS template here and all of our settings. So now we're ready to go ahead and use this template when using Nutanix Calm. Thanks for your time today.